hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Alyssa, and on this channel i create budgeting content planning content and side hustle content so if any of that does sound interesting to you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up it really does help out my youtube channel and all of those actions are completely free to you so on this video today we will be setting up the second half of november so november 15th through the 30th. This is the budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom. Keep an eye out. I will be posting um, some more videos in December about setting up for 2024. Um, so you really do want to make sure that you're subscribed and feel free to turn on those notification bells as well. But we're going to jump right into things today. So we're going to start with the inflow. So my W2 paycheck for my full-time job was $1,792. I get paid every, I get paid twice a month, which is about every two weeks, but some months it's a little bit more than two weeks. So $17.99. And then we have side hustles. This is from hosting trivia was $217. So if we add all of that up, we've got $17.99 plus $217 gives us $2,016. I'm not expecting anything from payback these two weeks or to pull anything from savings. So we're just gonna mark those as zero in case anything changes when we do close out this budget. So going to fixed expenses here, we have rent, which I do this in half. Most of my fixed expenses I save for in half and it's been working out flawlessly for me well knock on wood not flawlessly but pretty darn good I'd say so that's due on the 15th which is 400 and then we have utilities also on the 15th which is 100 I might reduce this amount going forward because I built myself a nice little buffer in the account but I still kind of like saving for 100 just in case anything like happens We've got Spotify due on the 16th, which is $11. And then we have student, student loan, which is now a debt. And I save for $300. Basically my student loan payment, this is gonna hopefully make sense, is a total of about $1,052 every month. I know it's literally insane. It's more than my own rent. Right now I've been paying $300 per paycheck. So that's about $600 every month. However, wait, we got to back up. I should have told the story a little bit differently. While my pay my payment is $1,052, I try to pay about $1,100 every month because I want to try to take down on that interest as much as possible. So right now I've been paying $600 every month. $500 is like, where am I getting that money from? So I have built up a little nest egg in my high yield savings account when I receive commission or I receive extra money, like from my save from my soccer side hustle over the, the fall time, I put money into this account. So every two weeks when I make a payment, I also take out $250 from this account which brings us to the total $500, giving us 500 plus the 600 every month to make that $1,100 payment. Um, because of the way my income is structured with commission and I'm not having like a average paycheck, like my total income is not divided just by basically 24 paychecks in the year. It totally varies on like when our clients pay, which is really honestly frustrating and annoying. More on that in the coming months, but that's why it's like so variable and I have to have this buffer fund. I'm My goal in 2024 is to get this buffer fund to six months worth of buffer basically. So if I'm pulling 500 right now from the buffer fund every month, then I need to have $3,000 in that buffer fund at all times to make sure that I, in case anything happens, I lose my job, I can't work anymore, like any, I quit, right? Like anything happens, like I have six months to figure out what to do, which now that I'm thinking about it, doesn't really make sense because if I'm paying $1,100 and I'm unemployed, all right, I'll have to think about that. But I think my ultimate purpose was because my income is so fluctuating, sometimes I don't receive commission for a few months and I have to rely on this 
extra savings to make these payments here. So that's a little bit of a tangent. I hope that made sense. So we've got the student loan covered. Then we have car insurance, which I also pay for in half. I just put this in a savings account. So that's $65. Then we have boxing gym, which I am going to be reducing my membership here, but I save for this in half and that's $93 because it's just insane to be paying that every month. Every two weeks, honestly, LA Fitness, which is my actual gym membership, which is due on the 24th, is 50. You notice how I didn't write Peacock down here as a streaming service. I actually canceled my Peacock service because I wasn't using it. Like why am I paying $6 every month? Some of my shows go on there, but because of the writer strike, like they haven't been there. So I'm just gonna wait until my shows are back on there and then I'll start the subscription and you know, save the $6 until then. Then we have Acorns, which is gonna be 60 because we have, I believe three Wednesdays in this budget paycheck period. So we've got one, two, three Wednesdays and it's $20 for each. And then the Roth, we just have two. So that will be um, $30 for the Roth which is through Merrill Roth. And then we have therapy, which will be 50 because I also have actually two sessions in this budget period because of the way the Thursdays are structured. So if we add that all up, we've got 400 plus 100 plus 11 plus 300 plus 65 plus 93 plus 50 plus 60 plus 30 plus 50 gives us $1,159. So taking the 2016 minus 1159 gives us 857 left over. So we've got grocery, if I did that right, spelled that right, for $100. Eating out, we're gonna budget 100 for as well. Gas and car, because I am traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday, I'm gonna do 100 and I'm gonna take my car there investment investment will be twenty dollars fun and entertainment will be fifty dollars holiday what are we going to budget for holiday 25 any like miscellaneous stuff for the thanksgiving holiday and then we're going to do self-care for the nails for fifty dollars and then miscellaneous, we're going to budget 54 and travel. If there's any unexpected expenses with traveling for the holiday, we're going to do 25 bucks. And then pets, we're budgeting zero four. So adding that all up, we have 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 20 plus 50 plus 25 plus 50 plus 50 oops, plus 25 gives us 520. Okay, 520, that is correct. We've got 857 minus 520 gives us 337 left over. 337. Remember, all side hustle income goes towards sinking funds. So because it's a kind of an odd number, we're just gonna do 220 in total. So we're gonna do deductible, deductible of 25 we're going to do medical medical expenses also 25 every paycheck we do 2024 vacay of 35 dollars soon we'll be starting a 2025 vacay fund car maintenance we've got 25 for self-care We've got 25 for as well. Future, fun, 25. Wow, we're doing a lot of 25s this time. Future fun, oh, we already did that. Self-care, actually, future fun, sorry. This is supposed to be 30. I believe that'll work out like that, 30. Vacations, I have one more vacation to visit my grandma at the beginning of December, so I'm just budgeting for like anything like that. And then pets, we're gonna do 30. So I guess whatever's left in the vacation fund for this year, we'll probably roll the 2024 or roll it into the 2024 vacation and like then start a 2025 vacation fund. So let's add up to make sure that's all correct. 25 plus 25 plus 35 plus 25 
plus 25 plus 30 plus 25 plus 30 to 20. Okay, perfect. So we've got 337, which is what you started with, minus 220, which gives us 117, 117 for debt. So we've got my Alaska Airlines credit card. We're going to put 80 towards, and then my Discover credit card, we're going to put 37 towards. So that will add up to 117 and leaving us with zero dollars for the rest of the month. So I'm hoping we have a really great second half of November the same way we had a great first half of November. If you didn't watch that video, I'll link it up right here so you can go and watch the closeout of that. And then of course, the video after this one will be the closeout of November, which is really, really exciting. I can't believe we only have basically two more paychecks to set up. And then with this one, we'll have three total to close out. So wow, 2023 is really wrapping up here. I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's really helpful for me to share my journey with all of you. Leave me any type of comments and questions below, and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye everyone.